again it's the Irish scrapper back with another quick tutorial um, as I said in a previous video I've had lots and lots of these MDF letters that I bought and I've been doing nothing with them so what I've done with this K is I've just very roughly covered it in paper it won't be seen it's just to give it a bit of a background and then I'm going to actually um, cover the MDF with with gesso and a sponge and it's really just to take the MDF look off it and the sponge I find is de most definitely the fastest and more efficient way to cover um, the MDF I've tried it with a paintbrush and honestly you'd be there for hours whereas the sponge gives great coverage and if you're fussy you can do a second coat when the gesso dries as you can see look covers it very very quickly and we can fast forward this in the video so you don't have to watch paint dry as they say that you miss you can get with a paintbrush some of the awkward to reach spots okay normally what you do is go away and leave this to dry but for the sake of the video I'm going to belt ahead and what I'm doing is I'm going to cover the whole K uh, using a variety of buttons that I have here and I think again the best way is to um, use the glue gun and bring this over near my glue gun and begin to work in one area at a time And really I suppose what you need to remember is to try to keep the, the shape of the K. So choose your buttons carefully. Of your letter with the buttons and then when you've done the basic outline get rid of all your treads because the glue gun is a terror for the treads so you have the the basic outline of the K and um, you can layer like I put a couple of layers on here and um, but then 
what you can use as fillers are either the tiny buttons, and excuse me while I grab a pack. You know, these kind of tiny buttons that you get free with magazines or what have you. They'll fill in the small gaps. Uh, maybe this, this colour would be better. Or indeed the little um, dew drops. So I might belt ahead. Actually, I was going to show a tip and I could use it myself right now if I could find the bit of blue tack that I had there. Oh, here, here we go. So I'm going to stick a bit of blue tack on the end of this and use it for picking up the buttons. Because we're layering, it, like it doesn't matter if all the buttons don't lie flush on the actual letter. finished I'll show you an image of the finished uh, K. Which way am I at all? This way. So I'll show you a, a finished project. <laughs> 